So, as you can see, uh, I started to hail. We started. Yeah, so today we're going to build a lean-to. It's going to be a hybrid, so it's uh, a lean-to slash uh, debris shelter. <laughs> the weather is not playing along on the good side. It's been raining pretty much ever since uh, New Year's Eve. We had one day with nice weather as to uh, today. I'll show you how it was a couple of weeks ago. Enjoy. There's a hot tip for you. Now always check your gear before you go out on a hike. I just forgot my tripod mount. So <laughs> I just have to do a handheld uh, for this segment. Uh, let's see how it goes. So I had a plan. I had a plan for some while now to put up a lean-to. I uh, just found the perfect spot for it. I've been scouting the area for a couple of days now to try to find a place where it's find a place where it's shielded from 
uh, people from the path. There's a path that's just 150 meters away from here. Uh, shielded from inside, so uh, preventing people from finding shelter. And uh, yeah, making a stealth camp. So that's what I'm gonna start doing now. Yeah. So just putting, just started to put up the lean to. So <laughs> as you can see, I uh, started to hail. So uh, just a part of the season, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, carry on. So we've gotten the basic frame structure up. So about uh, breast height for me. So I'm six foot two height. So just uh, secured it. Secured it with some lashings uh, just to get the height. And now uh, starting, and now we're starting uh, with the roof, uh, getting that in place. So a bit more cutting up trees. Uh, there's some debris laying around, so make the use of that as well. And uh, yeah. So the lean-to is coming along nicely. Uh, spent about one hour so far building it. I uh, suspect to build a lean-to shelter uh, probably need uh, for four to six hours, depending on the size and and if you're just one person building it. We started uh, starting putting up the base uh, frame for it. Uh, then uh, uh, started on the roof. Now, I don't cut off the branches. I don't cut off the branches uh, because I'll make use of those afterwards. Not cutting the branches, I can use those uh, to make the roof uh, waterproof, at least help with it and supporting uh, when we put more that when we put more branches on it. Also, on the inside, we will use the branches uh, to weave a uh, proper roof. Now, the distance between uh, the roof supports is approximately 30 centimeters. Uh, you could use the saw as a measurement tool, uh, just to give a rough distance uh, between the uh, roof pieces. I see a lot of uh, see a lot of YouTube videos where they cut off all the branches and put those nicely neat together. Now it looks nice, uh, but it's an awful lot of work uh, cutting down a lot of trees uh, to do that. Now uh, trees are scarce in the area, so you have these large <laughs> large uh, trees there that's. <laughs> not very feasible for making a lean-to. You make good use of what you have in the vicinity. So, as I said, roughly about 30 centimeters. Uh, the height, uh, I would recommend about one and a half meters uh, height to chest height. Now, the higher it is, uh, the more difficult it is to retain heat. So, you, of course, you wanna, you wanna be able to build a fire and uh, and get the reflection from that fire uh, as you will be laid up underneath her. Uh, you want that fire to reflect from the wall. So see the recommendation sometimes during winter time is to even have that angle slightly up so 50 60 degrees. Now one of the challenges is uh, the steeper the angle uh, the less protection uh, you get from the roof, of course. Another consideration you need to make when making a lean-to is uh, the wind direction and also the direction of the sun. So we know that the sun, uh, the sun sets the highest in south, so that's my south direction. So I will get the most benefit of the sun uh, in that direction. 
and that's why my opening is towards the sun as well so I get uh, support from the sun yeah. see my angle here is roughly 45 degrees so I wouldn't go lower on the angle I think 45 is uh, just just right uh, if anything during winter time as I said I might increase that angle to uh, maybe 50 50 degrees uh, 50 60 degrees just to get more reflection from the fire so so we finished with the roof structure now it's just uh, covering it up uh, making it uh, slightly waterproof at least so you see I laid out the framework I weave the branches that are left uh, so that they're connecting uh, making us making a good structure for the uh, for the roof so I think the shelter is coming along nicely so let's see there's some branches uh, branches on the inside here so we'll tuck those away so I completed the uh, rough build of the uh, of the shelter uh, still some improvements to be done so I completed the uh, first stage of building the shelter uh, a rough roof uh, at least gives some protection over my head now I would spend uh, probably a couple more hours uh, improving the shelter uh, I'm gonna come back here on a later stage uh, to complete the shelter uh, build as it is now it's just a simple lean-to so I started off with a traditional lean-to build and then uh, you, you could say it's a combination of a lean-to and a debris shelter uh, because put a lot of debris on the back uh, to uh, cover up the roof and uh, just gonna continue with that for a couple of hours now uh, and then uh, also plan is to build a small fireplace in front of it and uh, see if we can uh, get a fire lit I see even uh, building uh, building the lean-to in uh, breast height it's still uh, it's uh, <laughs> still a bit uh, uh, low but uh, low is what we're looking for uh, building a high shelter so building a big lean-to uh, two meters high uh, you're just creating a lot of space that needs uh, heating up basically so uh, the higher the bigger the shelter uh, the more space uh, to heat up basically so keeping it uh, nice and snug is a good thing I, I guess yeah <laughs> 